If you've ever flown model rockets, chances are that you've experienced a misfire. A misfire is a fancy way of saying that the rocket motor failed to ignite. Our rocket club, the Austin Area Rocketry Group, has hosted a bunch of youth groups over the years, so we've seen a lot of misfires. In most cases, the misfire is due to an incorrectly installed igniter. We'll pull the igniter out of the motor following a failed launch, and we usually find a mangled mess of bent wire inside. Let's start with how an igniter is made and how it works. Estes igniters are remarkable bits of engineering. It may look like a simple bit of bent wire with a blob on the end, for want of a scientifically correct term, but there are actually three pieces of wire here. The two long conductor wires are clearly visible, but there's also a tiny bridge wire welded between them, covered by a protective layer of goo. When electrical power is passed through the igniter, that bridge wire heats up to hundreds of degrees, igniting the motor. So let's install an igniter. First, hold the igniter carefully by the head and then gently spread the two conductor leads apart by about an eighth of an inch or about three millimeters. This helps make sure that the igniter won't short out on itself when installed, which is the number one cause of misfires. Next, we're going to bend the attachment ends of the igniter into a simple hook shape. And then we're going to spread them out a little bit. This does a couple of things. First, it allows for a more positive mechanical connection between each igniter lead and the launch control system. Your igniter leads will be less likely to slip off when you walk away from the launch pad. Second, it provides a more robust electrical connection. Bill Stein of Estes showed me this trick many years ago, and he calls these bunny ears. Next, take the prepared igniter and set it into the nozzle of the motor, making sure that the pyrogen end, the blob, is in contact with the propellant inside. In other words, make sure it won't go in any further. Bend it over, and then place the igniter plug into place. Our motor is now ready for installation in the rocket. Here's a rocket that we have ready to fly. When we put the motor into place, we're going to make sure that the igniter leads are on the side of the rocket opposite the launch lug and the engine hook. This helps get the igniter leads away from the metal launch rod once the rocket is in place on the pad. Finally, we'll raise the rocket up off of the blast deflector. A simple clothespin is great for this. There's still a couple things we can do to reduce the possibility of a misfire. First, we're going to make sure that our launch system has fresh batteries before we head out to the launch site. Also, we're going to make sure that our igniter clips are clean and free from corrosion or launch debris. A small piece of sandpaper or an emery board is great for that. Place the rocket on the pad, attach a clip to each of the bunny ears that we created, and make sure that the igniter clips are not touching the blast deflector or the launch rod. We're ready to fly. Follow these simple tips and you're sure to have fewer misfires. Thanks for watching.